hello and welcome to my channel and uh, today I am going to talk about the first book I finished in uh, 2021 and that is Bonjour Tristesse by François Sagan. So this book was originally in French, it was translated into the English by uh, Irene Ash. This book was actually a birthday present that my sister gave to me. Um, it, uh, my birthday was actually in March, but then this book arrived in December, so it was like nine months late. But still, I uh, I was kind of uh, grateful about this. Um, this book has been on my wish list for a very, very long time now. So, um, finally, I'm able to read it and I can kind of uh, happily declare that I dislike this book. I gave this book one star and uh, you're gonna see why that is. So first, uh, what Bonjour Tristesse is about. So Bonjour Tristesse, uh, central to this uh, book, is a is a teenager named uh, Cecilia. She's, uh, I'm not sure how old she is, I think she's about 16 or 17. She's certainly younger than uh, 20. So this story takes place in the 1950s at the uh, in the French Riviera where Cecile and her father Raymond um, are, are staying. So these two people, they live the life of hedonism. Basically they party all day uh, and all night and um, just pretty much socializing and drinking and uh, for Raymond, um, he womanizes like to no end. Like he has plenty of mistresses in this book, and Cecile is totally cool with that. Um, Cecile, on the other hand, you know, she does not have to think about work. She does not have to think about uh, school. Basically, she's just living her life, enjoying herself, not doing any sort of work. So, this is pretty much the life, the status quo that these two characters are kind of enjoying. Now the the complication kind of uh, arrives when there is an old acquaintance of Raymond, the father. Uh, her name is Anne. Comes to their house and um, they just uh, Anne just kind of hangs out with them. <laughs> and uh, one day Raymond just kind of announces suddenly that he's in love with Anne and uh, he wants to marry Anne. And now Anne is a little bit more conservative. He uh, she is a little bit more uptight. Uh, certainly someone who represents a lifestyle that is totally the opposite of what Cecile and Raymond are currently living. So Cecile, she is so worried that if Anne ever becomes part of their household, then her life of all day fun and party will be over. So she's going to have to start thinking about work. Work during the holidays and studying and school and all that. And she is so upset about that that she thinks of a plan in order to separate Anne and her father so they do not get married. So this is where the book gets kind of interesting. Uh, we see uh, how Cecile just kind of develops her plan and uh, it is in the course, over the course of this plan that something horrible happens. So that's where uh, this, this book really uh, takes off. Now, what I think about this book, I find Cecile to be a really, really bratty and uh, vapid character. Now, I think that at the same time, Cecile is also kind of um, uh, precocious. She's kind of um, smart in her own way. There is this tendency of Cecile to be kind of, uh, she would, she would, uh, have this uh, moments where she would uh, philosophize about her life, her life of fun and joy, and uh, she would talk about it as if there is some sort of suffering in there. And I don't know, I, I kind of suffer when I read that. Like, how, <laughs> how would you, like, end up with that kind of mindset about your own life that is just pretty much all hedonism and no work and you get all upset about the prospect of your life going to be ruined so there is something that i uh i just can't connect with with this book you know i just really cannot connect with how cecile 
is this uh, this teenager who on the outside has this uh, kind of mature demeanor but somehow I just feel that she's just really immature inside like the way that she is really resisting the change in her life it's just really strange to me it feels really foreign to me and I like uh, I like seeing changes in a book and unfortunately this book does not give a lot of that and I was also kind of unsatisfied when I when I uh, when I read this book so essentially this book was just uh, really uh, it feels really empty it feels like a uh, it is trying to say something important, but it stays at the same time that thing is actually something that is quite shallow and it is not able to kind of represent whatever it wants to say in a more profound way. Although it attempts to, it definitely tries to justify why Cecile feels that her uh, her worry, her anxiety is... Uh, is real is legit but really like the fact that you have to um, leave the life of your perpetual holiday in order to kind of I don't know start working and going to school is and studying is kind of like something that I literally just can't connect with so bonjour tristesse uh, by Francois Sagan, a very angsty book. If you like things that are really angsty, especially teenage angst, if you like books that talks about first world problems and how distressing it is for those first world problems to constantly plague you, um, then yeah, I think you should totally read this book. If you are not interested in all that, then Maybe you can still read this book, it's fairly short then, so the torment would not be very long. This was something that I really wanted to read for a long time, so I'm not sure what to say to that. So I, I guess I'll see you again in a different video. So until then, take care, thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,